minus 0.21 kc, minus 0.2093 kc, plus 0.0049 kc squared, divided by 0.07 kc, minus 2.99. However, this quantity can change sign because one seventh, which is when you change the sign, is in between those five, between zero and one seventh, case less than one seventh, this is positive. Case greater than one seventh, it's negative. So the conclusion for tau i is, If Kc less than 1 7, if you pick a Kc less than 1 7, it will be tau i must be greater than 7 Is the if statement correct? Huh? Is the if statement correct? If case Okay. Greater than one Made it so hard. I would have just divided like the left side. When you when you threw in the yellow crayon, it just went crazy. I would have just divided that by the left side and then that would you would have gotten the same answer. I don't know why you had to do all that. What do you mean you get the same answer? Yeah, if you just divide do you see the stuff that you have with T Y? Tau Y. Yeah. If you just divide everything by open parentheses point oh seven K C minus point nine nine. Yeah, I did that. No, but then you like why did you throw in that orange crayon in there? To you make the point that this is Negative. Yeah, see, you, you made too many sign changes. You confused me. Well, you have to make a sign change. That's all I did from here on to here. But then it flipped back. I don't know. You have to flip and then I have to divide by the second thing. The second thing, though, doesn't have always the same sign for all values of KC we pick. Just first and then. For the second thing, the TI greater than it should be 0.4. Oh, the Wait, yeah, you put in an extra zero yeah. there. For yeah. Oh, yeah, I put an extra zero. Yeah. So, it's supposed to be the same as in the top. 
The only thing is the inequality is reversed. Because the reason the inequality is called reversed, guys, is because the sign of this changes when KC flips at one cent. This is actually zero and KC equals 170. So oh. if KC is greater than 170, where is what is how I down to by where does it uh, you just go to infinity? Okay. Yeah, I know it's greater than that, but what's the upper bound of the Oh there's no upper bound. There's no upper bound. It's not Okay. Now, I will tell you, I just wanted to do the complete analysis to see the final results. So what do we have here? This tells me, pick a KC in this range, and careful, I will not pick a KC very close to zero, and I will not pick a KC close to 99.7. Why? Because this is an approximation. And values to 299.7 may be stable according to the root array, but unstable in reality. And after I pick the KC, calculate this thing. So for example, let's pick roughly the midpoint. So that's 42. If we choose KC 21, right? That's about midpoint. That's definitely going to be safe. So if we pick KC equals 21, that equation, that would apply to put 21 here. Can someone calculate that for 21? Minus 0 0.00491 squared minus 0.4193 times 21 divided by that. We should get a positive number if I didn't mess up. I don't understand. I'm lost. Point zero, yeah. two, nine, nine. You've lost. Point zero, positive, right? Yeah. Point zero, two, nine. So, I could pick KC21 and tau i, for example, 1. Again, I wouldn't go very close to the bounds. I wouldn't go very close to point zero. Seven. Okay? I don't understand why you only look at um, why you do if KC is less than 107. 1 divided by 7. Well, how come you don't look at the other part of the denominator? Because this inequality breaks into these two inequalities. This is the inequality that must be satisfied. Period. Okay? But if KC is Greater than one seventh, this is positive, so you divide by the parentheses, the inequality doesn't change. But if KC is less than one over seven, if you divide by the parentheses, then inequality becomes less. If I were to choose KC, okay, what's half of one seven? Okay, so one seven is point fourteen, let's say point one. If I were to choose KC plus point one, can someone calculate? what this quantity is. KC is point one. Point 0.1. It should not have to become negative. This must to become negative. Like two so the only KC has to be as a result, KC has to be bigger than one seven. Okay. 
Okay, in case it would have to be bigger than us. And then you have a constraint on that one. Um, why do you choose KC equals 21? Okay, why did I choose KC equals 41? 21, or oh, that's 41? It's 21, <laughs> This is 42.6. So the midpoint. It's not safe, close to the descent. It's not safe, close to the descent. What is the safest point? The midpoint, right? I took approximately the mid point by choosing 41. Hey, 21. Okay. At point one, I got a positive uh, upper bound for uh, Oh. Four or six. Just kidding. Well, I got a negative. No, I think it should be negative. Yeah. Is that negative point? I think it should be negative. Yeah. It should be negative. I think it's negative. Okay, guys. So you understand how you can use this, right? Yeah, no. Josh. What you're saying is the, uh, the top inequality in the row that is Yeah, it, it, it can be satisfied because now y must be bigger than zero. And then this number is negative. There's not a y positive to satisfy that. OK? So that means KC really, we have to, con to modify that. And change KC must be bigger than one seven less than that. Yes. How do you get those three fives KC equals zero point one? No, this was left over from previous things. Has nothing to do with the three fives. That's the example of dividing by. If I chose that, I got this. That's impossible. So cannot choose. Casey equals point 0.1 or Casey less than one. So Casey must be chosen higher than one. Okay. So Can you also just, since you said you got to pick something closer to the middle, I don't say you have to. Okay. I said that's the safest. But if you saw like Casey is between zero and like forty, and then the tau i quality gives us. KC, 1.7 is the... So I will pick something between 1.7 and 1.7. If we just yeah. do that, it's just going to be 1.7. If it's... If the sign changes with the expression on the right-hand side of the inequality, um, wouldn't, to set it correctly, we have to multiply by negative 1? Yeah. Like, when you say tau i is less than... Oh, did I hold it? Oh, then may have solved my... <laughs> yes! 1 minus... Thank you! So, so we plug in yes. We're doing it all over again. No, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me think. Let me think. Just restart the problem. No, no, no. No, I don't. I don't. This is like minus 3 greater. Oh, yes. 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 All that is right. Yes. Yes, all that is right. All that is right. How is all that right? You just proved it is right. No, no, all that is correct. No, no, it's uh, All that is correct. I'm dividing by a negative. No, no, <laughs> all that is incorrect. <laughs> 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 Remember, the minus comes with that division. All that here. I have minus 3 greater than minus 5. I divide by minus 1. That's my minus 1. <laughs> so from here follows 3 less than minus 5 divided by minus 1. The minus is carried over by the parentheses I divide. And then the negative 1 that you multiply. What I was doing in my expression was that I could change the order from 7 kc minus 1 to 1 minus 7 kc. And that would work out when you plug in 0.1. That would give you a positive. No, but you can't do that without changing the sign, so. Yeah. No. Okay. What I did was better. So. You can talk after the break if you want something. All right, guys. So. Before I end this, 